I have been asked many times, why do we use the name Yeshua and not Jesus when we do the teachings at Rhema Bible School? Well, the answer is very simple. Yeshua is the real name of the Messiah. Now, the world knows him as Jesus Christ, which is fine. Um, we are baptized in his name. We're saved in his name. We preach in his name. We cast out devils in his name. All that is in the name of Jesus. And that's, that's fine. God accepts that. But he was not called Jesus originally. That is not his name. His name was Yeshua. And the reason his name is, is, is Yeshua is because of what it actually means. Yeshua means God is salvation or God saves. And the names in the Bible times were very, very important. It spoke of your destiny, your future, your character, something about you. People had their names changed because of the change of character. And there's a teaching I do about this that we can go into you know, Abraham and, and Isaac and Jacob and all, all the others and so on. But to be brief, just to get to the point, why we use Yeshua is because that's what the Bible called him. Now, God calls his son, who he sent in the world to save us, God called his son Yeshua. The angel Gabriel, who came down to Mary and told her that that which she was carrying in her was to be the one who was going to be saving the world. The name was given. It wasn't Jesus. It was Yeshua. Jesus itself, as a name, was invented until many, many, many centuries later. The early church preached Yeshua. When Peter preached on the day of Pentecost and 3,000 were saved and were baptized, they were baptized in the name of Yeshua. All through Yeshua's life, his ministry, when he lived in Nazareth, when he went to Egypt, when he came back, um, all his time when he was preaching, ministering, healing people and went to towns and cities and people came out to him, and it was all Yeshua. Because he was fulfilling his very name, bringing salvation. The entire New Testament calls him Yeshua. This is why we at Rhema Bible School go back to the original name of the Messiah and we call him by his proper name, Yeshua. Now, if Jesus was actually just the English version of Yeshua, then that's fine, no problem, because then it would mean the same thing. But it is not. If you translate Yeshua from the Hebrew into English, it would be Joshua, not Jesus. Jesus, in fact, is a made-up name. It's not a real name. It's not a translation into English. It's a transliteration, meaning it's a made-up name. From different words, put them all together, cover it up, and here comes Jesus. That's how Jesus came into being. We want to honor the Lord by using the name that God gave him. And that saving name is Yeshua. As the Jews would say, Yeshua HaMashiach. Yeshua, the Lord, the Messiah. And that's who he is to us. So therefore, we will always use that name, Yeshua. Now, if somebody wants to use the name of Jesus, that's fine. <laughs> we won't argue with anybody and there's no fuss, there's no issue and so on. You know, God bless you, that's fine, no problem. But we reserve the right to call him by his historically accurate name and his biblically accurate name and that is Yeshua if you want to go into all this you, know, you, you, you can do and there is a teaching like I said that I've, I, I do about this which is a, a longer teaching that shows the history that shows how people were so anti-semitic they didn't want anything to do with anything Jewish not even a sounding name called Yeshua no that sound too Jewish want a different name don't want the name uh Yahweh. No, no, that sounds too Jewish. Give him another name. And they couldn't find one, so they just call him God. Like I say, a long teaching about it. But essentially, the real name of the Messiah is Yeshua. And so we want to be accurate by biblically and historically by using that name. No fuss with anybody else, but we believe in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach.